good morning you guys happy monday everybody i know i look crazy i'm not ready for the day but you always catch me wrapped up in the blanket in the morning because i am freezing but happy monday everybody i am about to get my day started we are about to head to the store me and my husband are gonna head to the store grab some things for breakfast we want to try a different kind of breakfast today we were up last night and we had like a random craving for a different kind of breakfast so we're gonna head to the store grab some food for the day um i'm about to to get ready because I know I'm looking a little crazy. I'm gonna show you my outfit for the day, but yeah, let's head to the store. We're going to be making some breakfast enchiladas. We haven't made breakfast enchiladas before, and it came to our mind. We were like, why don't we try some? So we came up with an idea, and we're gonna go ahead and cook up a good breakfast this morning. So let's go ahead and get ready for the day. We came to H-E-B, I'm just gonna grab a few things for breakfast and for dinner, but I'm gonna grab some protein shakes to have on hand. Premier protein chocolate flavor, my favorite. I grabbed some country sausage for the enchiladas. I'm gonna stuff them with these. I'm grabbing some lemon pepper for tonight's dinner. So we're gonna have some lemon chicken. And then this caught my eye. They have avocado toast seasoning and I love avocado toast. So I'm gonna go ahead and try this. It's only $2. We're gonna grab some lemon pepper chicken for tonight's dinner. I grabbed some Kobe and Monterey Jack cheese and then my husband wanted hash browns on the side for his so we grabbed some hash browns. As well as for tonight's dinner, I'm gonna grab some asparagus. We're gonna grab a few lemons as well for the lemon chicken. I'm gonna go ahead and grab some frozen bananas for my protein shakes. I've been loving mixing them with it. All right, we are back from HEB. I just had to grab a few things. So the main thing I needed for this breakfast, I already have a lot of stuff on hand, was the sausage. And then I got my husband aside, we need a little bit of cheese. Um, but we're gonna be making some breakfast enchiladas. I have some low carb tortillas on hand. We thought we just mix it up, some eggs with this sausage and stuff them inside and then put like a country gravy on top. So I'm gonna be showing y'all how to make like a healthier version of a country gravy. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna go ahead and start cooking down the sausage first. So I got went ahead and grabbed the country mild flavor. I'm gonna go ahead and cut down half the packet. All right, after my sausage is cooked down, I'm gonna take out half for the gravy and then I'm gonna mix half with the egg. We're just gonna season with a little salt and pepper. Okay, once the eggs are done scrambling, we're gonna go ahead and set these to the side. Now we're gonna go ahead and work on the low calorie gravy. So you're gonna bring your pan, you're gonna get it nice and hot. To your pan, we're gonna add in two cups of unsweetened almond milk. Thicken our milk, you're gonna go in with three teaspoons of flour. I'm gonna go ahead and whisk that in until it's dissolved. And then you can season how you like it. I'm gonna go ahead and add in some garlic powder, some pepper, some salt to taste. I'm gonna add a little chicken bouillon. And we're gonna go ahead and bring this to a simmer. Once it comes to a simmer, you're gonna turn down the heat and let it continue simmering. You wanna make sure you stir every couple minutes until it's thickened, just so nothing sticks. After a couple minutes of your gravy thickening, it should look something like this. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn it off. And I'm gonna mix in a little bit of this sausage. 
just to have some sausage crumbles in the gravy. And it's gonna give it more of that sausage flavor. I'm just gonna let this cool down for a couple minutes and then we're gonna start assembling the breakfast enchiladas. Okay, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna take any low carb tortillas that you have on hand. I have these HEB ones. I went in with corn for um, my husband and stuff, but I wanted flour with these. You're gonna take your flour tortilla. You're gonna scoop the egg and sausage inside. Just like that. I'm gonna take some reduced fat Mexican style cheese because it's less calories. And you're gonna put a little bit in the inside and just roll it like an enchilada. And you're gonna repeat. I'm just gonna go ahead and do it to three. You're gonna take our low calorie gravy that we just made and put it on top of each enchilada. Just a little serving size. Then you can just top it off with a little bit more cheese. This is how it looks. You're gonna pop it in the oven at 350, just until it's heated through. The cheese is nice and melted. I have my family's right here um, heating through and it should be done in a couple minutes. Okay, after a few minutes of being in the oven, you just wanna heat it through really and then the cheese just to get nice and melty. It should look something like this. Look at that. Oh, that looks so good. I went ahead and served up my husband. So these are his. I just made his with regular corn tortillas and then regular gravy. Just an idea if you want to cook this up for your family, you can make a regular version. And then if you were doing lower carb, lower calorie, this is another version that you can do. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and serve me up two enchiladas for right now. So I try to just work around like what my family eats is usually what I have been doing all these years. If they want something, I just make a low carb alternative or I used to do like a keto alternative um, just to, you know, not make so many separate meals all the time. All right, but here is our breakfast enchiladas that we came up with. Hopefully y'all enjoy this recipe. I will put the macros right here on the screen. And this gravy is absolutely delicious. I taste tried it when I was making it. You can't even tell the difference. It's super good. It's a little, little bit like not as thick, but I think it has great flavor and texture to it. So it was really, really good. And it's only 37 calories per serving. All right, let's go ahead and give them a try all together. So low carb tortilla, low calorie gravy, a little bit egg, sausage. Oh, these are really good. That gravy is super good. It holds flavor really well. Really, really well. Mmm. Y'all give this gravy a try. I have made, I do have a recipe on keto approved gravy if you are just looking for a keto approved alternative. I do have a gravy on that. You can look up my video with the biscuits and gravy. It's a super old video, but it shows you how to make a keto approved gravy, not just low calorie. But this breakfast is really good really really good it's gonna be really filling just something different because usually i just make some low carb tacos with tortillas but me and my husband came up with this idea last night to make some breakfast enchiladas and it was a great great breakfast i'm gonna go ahead and sit down and enjoy this i'm gonna have some zero sugar sweet tea on the side and yeah this is just gonna be my awesome breakfast dion tried the low calorie gravy he said you can't tell the difference so I lied. <laughs> so that's your sign to try he said it was really good all right, you guys, so right now, me, my husband, and my brother-in-law, we're all playing Call of Duty. We're playing some games. So I'm going to go in with my midday protein yeah. shake that I've been liking. Uh, I'm going to go in. Sorry if y'all hear noise in the background. I'm going to go in with the Premier Protein. Today, I'm going in with the chocolate flavor that we got from the store today. If you saw my last video, I had um, I did the caramel flavor, and I put bananas. Today, I'm going to be doing the chocolate flavor with bananas. 
like a chocolate banana shake. It's gonna be so good, okay? So I had got the frozen bananas today. I try to keep these on hand. Um, sometimes, like I said, mentioned in my last video, you can just get like regular bananas and freeze them yourself. I don't know why the bananas lately have been looking like this from HEB. I guess maybe they get thawed and then thawed, thawed again. But I'm gonna go in with a cup of bananas. Mm. <laughs> Those are the most unappetizing. That's what I said. They lately they've been looking like that from HEB. They smell good though. No, no, they don't. I don't know. Yeah, they smell like bananas. It's like an extra ripe banana. An extra ripe banana. But you know what? It's more sweeter. But anyways, they're still good. I'm gonna go in with a cup of frozen bananas with my protein shake. They never look like that. I think when they let them to thaw and then they refreeze them, yeah, it's all right. All right, we're just gonna we're blend loading. this. We're loading, so. I recommend to do frozen bananas because it gets like thick in. It's kind of like, especially with the chocolate, it's kind of like a, a little treat. Like a, what are they called? Like the Frosties from Wendy's. <laughs> Those are so good. Alright. Okay, I'm going. I gotta go play a game. They're waiting for me. Alright, midday protein shake. Let's go play a couple games of Call of Duty. for a little bit but now I'm gonna go ahead and get started on dinner so I'm making something super simple tonight this is probably one of my favorite go-to's when I just want something cheap something fast and just really good because I love chicken and rice so today we're going to be making some white rice with some lemon chicken and some asparagus on the side I'm gonna go ahead and cook my rice in my rice cooker this thing is a lifesaver my husband bought me this a couple months ago and I use it all the time I absolutely love it it always cooks your rice perfectly the only thing is it is by dash and if you know what dash is like their products are really small I have a lot of those little mini dash waffle makers so it's not the biggest but since it's always only really me me making a lot of white rice it's like the perfect size for just a person it makes about a cup and then it doubles but it's great for about two people um if you just want to make a small batch of rice i highly recommend this rice cooker i will have it linked in my description down my amazon storefront down in the description below if you would like to check it out it does come with like this little measuring cup and it doesn't only cook rice it cooks other things as well and it also comes with rest a recipe book so you can make different recipes or like different rices like different types but it comes with this little measuring cup usually i do a cup of white rice sometimes i'll have leftovers i usually put it in a strainer and i give it a good rinse so the perfect amount for me is you fill two half cups put it in there give it a good rinse and then you fill a cup of water and then a one fourth cup extra. I'll show you what I mean. <laughs> and it makes like the perfect rice, I promise. All right, I gave my rice a good rinse. I'm gonna add it to my rice maker. Then you add one cup of water. Even if I'm making like Mexican white rice, I add like seasonings in here and I mix it in there and I cook it together. But today we're just doing plain white rice and then you add one fourth cup. You just put your lid on. Push the button down and the button pops back up when the rice is done cooking and simple as that. I'm gonna go ahead and start cooking up my chicken. So I do buy pre-seasoned lemon pepper chicken from HEB, but I like to just season it with a little bit of extra lemon pepper. And I'm just gonna go ahead and cook up a few. These are like the chicken tenderloin ones. I'm gonna dice it into bite-sized pieces. I'm gonna go ahead and add a little olive oil to my pan. While the chicken is cooking, I went ahead and rinsed some asparagus and I'm gonna add it with the chicken. So I'm gonna chop it into bite-sized pieces. I'm gonna chop off the ends. 
and just cook it all together. My chicken is almost done cooking. While it continues to cook, we're gonna go ahead and add in the asparagus. Adding grill it all together. I'm gonna add some lemon pepper seasoning so we can season up the asparagus. A little salt to taste. ahead and add a little bit of fresh lemon juice and you're just gonna let this cook down and let your asparagus get nice and tender all right once your asparagus is nice and tender your chicken is cooked through that's it we're gonna go ahead and serve up dinner it literally took me like 20 minutes as you can see my rice is perfectly cooked through we're gonna go ahead and serve it up and it does stay warm until you unplug it but I absolutely love this thing it's amazing we're gonna go ahead and serve up a serving of rice If I have extra, usually I freeze it and then warm it up like when I want to use it. I'm going to go ahead and serve up my chicken and asparagus on the side. You could even do this with chicken and broccoli if you didn't, if you don't like asparagus. I mean, even chicken and Brussels sprouts is great. I like to add a little sweet and sour sauce on top, just a little bit. It's 130 calories per serving. Just to give it like a little sweetness. Then I'll go in with a little sriracha on the white rice. And here is dinner. It looks so good. It smells amazing. And it was so simple to make. A quick and easy dinner. So hopefully this gives y'all some ideas. All right. Let's dig in. Hmm. Perfection. I absolutely love lemon pepper chicken. It's so good. I love that the asparagus. I like it like slightly crunchy still. I think asparagus pairs very well with lemon chicken. Mm. Alright you guys, I'm going to go ahead and sit down and enjoy dinner. Stay tuned because I'm probably going to have a little sweet tooth at the end of this. Alright you guys, I ate dinner. It was so good. Like, I feel like the simplest meals are the best. It was so simple. It hit the spot. It was absolutely delicious. In order to make that meal keto, like if you do want to make the lemon chicken and asparagus, that's all keto. But if you want a keto side, you can definitely make it with some cauliflower rice and that'll be great as well. But I had a little sweet tooth today. So I'm going to go in with these chocolates. I got these in my keto crate last month and I've been wanting to try them. I have yet to try them. These are chocolates by Ross Chocolates. And when I tell you these are probably one of the best chocolates that I've tried, they are so good. They have so many flavors. I have gotten so many flavors in my keto crate. I have yet to be get this flavor and I already know this is going to be my favorite because I love cherry and then I love chocolate with almonds. Like that's the best mix and then put those together. You probably have the best chocolate ever, okay? So these are Ross chocolates, no sugar added. Milk chocolate minis with cherry almond. These sound so good, okay? 120 calories for five pieces. And they're keto approved. So if you're looking for a delicious chocolate, definitely check these out. I absolutely love chocolate. It's my favorite. And I love these because they're not like bitter. They're like a really, they have dark chocolate, but they're really milky. They come in like little squares like this. Let's try it. Oh, y'all look crunchy. Mmm. Definitely has a cherry flavor. It's so good. Mmm. This is probably my favorite one out of all of them. I've gotten a lot of flavors. This one hits the spot. But alright you guys, I'm going to go ahead and call it a day. I really hope y'all enjoyed today's meals. Especially that breakfast. Those breakfast enchiladas were so bomb. Hopefully y'all can give that low calorie, um... What's it called? Gravy a try. <laughs> I was going to say sauce, but gravy a try. If you happen to try it, let me know what y'all think down in the comments below. And you guys, don't forget, I do have my keto meal prep dessert meal plan. Meal prep dessert meal plan. I have my keto dessert meal plan available if you are interested for the holidays. It comes with 10 holiday recipes for y'all to enjoy over the month. I do have a keto one, and I also do have a low calorie one. If you are interested, I'll pop up my email, or you can message me to my social media. But I hope you all enjoyed this video video don't forget to hit that thumbs up button subscribe to my channel and i'll see you on the next one